the Ford Mustang Shelby GT500's history is almost as impressive as the black lines each generation's owners have left on the pavement. What started out as a successful aftermarket racing upgrade package by Carroll Shelby in 1967 eventually morphed into something of a high-powered factory show pony with a heart for drag strips. Beginning in 2013, Ford figured out that it was possible to add sharper handling for canyon roads and road courses while still developing big power, but to me, that 662 horsepower car still never felt particularly approachable or all that sophisticated. To listen to Ford officials tell it, the 2020 Mustang Shelby GT500 will be both of these things. Oh! And it'll have over 700 horsepower set to arrive in showrooms this fall after debuting Monday at the Detroit Auto Show, the 2020 GT500 builds on the precedents established by the Blue Oval's frankly wonderful GT350 coupe, adding even more power, technology and sophistication, imbuing the car with a character that chief engineer Carl Widman told me is a little bit more rounded off on the edges. The outgoing GT500 was both quick and fast, with 0 to 60 miles per hour happening in about 3.5 seconds en route to a claimed top speed of over 200 miles per hour. The new model adds at least another 39 horsepower. I'm betting there will be few more besides, and, perhaps more importantly, a standard 7 speed dual clutch transmission developed with DreamEck. You read that correctly. You can't get a manual transmission any longer in the King of the Hill Mustang. With shifts in as little as 100 milliseconds, the new gearbox will undoubtedly be quicker than a three-pedal setup. The GT500's various drive modes, including normal, weather, sport, drag and track, optimize transmission behavior for the driving at hand, whether tooling around town, lining up in front of a drag strip Christmas tree or idling out of the pit lane at your favorite road course. Interestingly, sport mode is tuned to produce the quickest shifts, while track mode prioritizes smoothness in order to keep the car from getting out of shape. Ford's move away from a DIY gearbox is likely to irk some self-anointed muscle car purists, but along with about a thousand other changes, it should help this new GT500 to not only be violently quick around a big race track, but more tractable and flattering to the ham-fisted, too. Dearborn authorities say the new car will be capable of mid 3 seconds 0 to 60 miles per hour runs, as well as quarter mile times in under 11 seconds.